Hey, it's Josh. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm with my friend, also known as my brother, if you can't tell. Hello. Jake. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Do you know that it's been 11 years, 11 years today, since we made a Christmas themed video? Mm -hmm. 11 years, long time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I remember it. Glad to be back. We were vlogging yeah. before it was cool. Way before it was cool. Yeah. In fact, and it wasn't cool at all. It wasn't cool at all. And now we've decided to come back when it's just on the tail end. Yeah, of it's, cool. coming it's coming down. It's coming down. down. That's okay. I'm just buying Bitcoin this week. <laughs> I don't even know what Bitcoin is. <laughs> Classic. He go. only discovered coleslaw last week. <laughs> yep. That's not true. I'm sorry I made that up. I'm sorry I made could that up. It could be true. It could be true. true. So today we are doing a gift guide because when else do you want to buy a gift than at 8 p.m. on the 24th? There's no time like the present. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? These are some of my favorite things of 2017 because I asked Jake to think and all he could come up with was... It was Uber Eats. Uber Eats. It's really changed my life. It's, it is good. It's revolutionized meal time for me. It's, um, yeah, no, it's been great. Uber Eats is very good. Deliveroo, uh, any sort of yeah. food delivery service. Absolutely. Coles. Tipple. Tipple. They deliver alcohol. That's, yeah, that's great. Have that's you done great. Have you done that? To be honest, I haven't actually tried okay. it. Tipple, I'm but... sure it's great. So, gift number one. And I've got Jake here because I thought we'd celebrate given the fact that it was so long ago that we did that video. Yeah, and it's Christmas. And yeah. what else would you rather do? Spend time Christmas? with your family. Absolutely, the fan band. Yeah. This has been my favourite thing of 2017. Okay. You'd be mistaken in thinking it's uh, floss. Yes, dental floss. Mum often had them around. Mum's a dental nurse. She is. Um, oh, whoa! Doesn't that feel clicky? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's crisp. Yeah, it's clicky it's as my... Uh, Year 12 graduation. <laughs> Still holding on. These are, if you didn't know, the Apple AirPods. Yep. So this is the wireless Apple EarPods. Mm -hmm. uh, what I love about it is this whole like case, this is a, uh, a charger. So it has a battery inside okay. and it will charge. And it's like, feel it, like place it in. Stick it you in. Don't have to, yeah, you don't have to look at it. Oh, wow. Like, it's charging right now. How? So it's got the battery inside and it's got a little Net? connector, lightning, yeah. yeah. And you just plug it into there. And Excellent. then I think it's three hours of talk time on them and you get about, I think it's maybe six charges out of a, out, out of a single charge of this, but I'll, I'll put it here. So this is what the price is. I'm gonna link below as well so you can buy them. I think that this is great. It's great for listening to podcasts, mm -hmm. listening to audio books, and it just syncs really well. If you've got an iPhone, this is an amazing gift for yourself, or if your friend or family member has an iPhone, it's great for them too. I'd say only if you have an Apple device would okay. you want these, yeah. because um, basically as soon as you put them on, so that's what they look like, and as soon barely as- barely notice they're in. Yeah. The great thing about them is when you put them in, straight away it connects to your iPhone or Apple device if you've got a MacBook yeah, Pro, cool. cool stuff like that. It's got microphones built in, so you can talk, walk and talk. And the other thing too is it will work with your Apple Watch, so mm, yeah. you can take calls, although uh, I didn't like that feature as much. Secondly is this book, Barefoot Investor. This is epic, Scott Pape. He's been around since like the Sin day. Like he started like Sin Radio. Yeah, okay. He's got like a, a uh, segment on Triple M's uh, breakfast show and all that sort of thing. Anyway, just really solid financial advice here. Specifically, this has changed my year because I have set up a number of ING accounts, which he recommends uh, saving money, all that sort of thing, gotten rid of credit cards. So this has been huge. This has helped me get out of debt for 2017 and also just do things like get on top of superannuation, like getting into the right right one in that regards and also just getting on the same page with Bray. We got the audio book of this as well, listened yeah, to course. it and read it. It's good to have like a copy here for like 19 bucks on uh, Amazon or a Big W and just goes through exactly what to set up. It's not about like setting up a budget, it's about having these buckets and just every month putting percentages aside. So you have 
a splurge, you have an everyday, you have what he, know, what he calls a fire extinguisher, uh, you have a mojo account, all these things are great. And you'll notice people who have read this book because they will have orange ING cards and they'll have written in permanent marker, splurge, everyday, all that sort of thing. The other thing I love about it is, specifically this is more of a call out for ING, it works with Apple Pay, so beep. Yeah, good All stuff. That. That's really good. So that's a really good gift, especially for like if your parents are struggling struggling financially, your brothers, your cousins, or anyone who needs to kick up the ass, maybe even yourself, about finance. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Everyone should read this. And the one thing that the barefooted investor would be completely against socks. <laughs> I just got it. Do you like barefoot? Like, uh, yeah, no, I, I understand the barefoot now, but I originally thought I'm like, oh, maybe part of his his um he doesn't want to he's spend you know, money don't or... spend money on socks. No, but you see, that's the whole thing. Oh, he's like, right. have you, he's very much like Ramit Sethi of I'll teach you how to be rich, mm -hmm. who's a US sort of finance guy. They're not about like being the person who doesn't bring a bottle of wine to a party and being an absolute tight ass. It's just like clever shit is what he's talking about. But anyway. Happy socks are amazing. Yeah. I love happy socks. So, yeah. And the other you're thing. You're wearing is, happy socks now? Yeah, I'm wearing happy yeah. socks now. They are happy. And I saw them on You know what? Wow. They're happy, and like, I never really got into socks. Yeah. But these are comfortable. Mm -hmm. They make me feel, they actually do make me feel happy when I wear them. It's like getting a good haircut. Yeah. Wearing these. And you know, do people you say, like, people say you shouldn't like wear like this combo with the. Uh, Shorts? What? But like, like the socks with shorts. No. But I think it's cool. So anyway, right. yeah. happy socks. The other yeah. thing is, I reckon Boxing Day sales, these will be like 40% off. Like I don't buy happy socks. I get them as gifts or I buy them at like 40% off. Okay, and where do you um, buy them from, Josh? Uh, you can get them from like happysocks.com, I think. Okay. Um, but yeah, you'll uh, if you go to their website, you'll get retargeted a lot. They'll let you know when they're on sale, but always get these on sale. Now this wasn't something that was a 2017 thing. Something that I've had for a number of years and still to this day in 2017, they're still serving me really well, and it's to do with travel. It's by a brand called Flight 001. This is what they are, here they are. The Space Pack System. So what I'm seeing is a bag, it has a couple of different compartments. Mm -hmm. Now if you look here, we have one. You open up this side, it says, I don't know if you can read it there, clean, yeah. all right? And then on now the other we, side, we flip it around. Do it laundry. Now laundry. I don't know what laundry is, but La yeah, it says laundry. Yeah. And so they have different colours. So, for instance, this one, this is uh, a, a grey one. So I'll put, say, uh, jeans or heavy clothes in this one. This one I might put t-shirts. They have like a cool. yellow one, which for happy be socks, my, uh, undies and socks. But the great thing is that the reason they're called Space Pack is they've got these like air venti things on the side. They'll compress the clothes. I got these four years ago, three years ago when I was traveling and I was able to like have heaps and heaps and heaps of clothes mm -hmm. into this one bag. And the great thing is that when you open your bigger bag, you just have these like nice rows of clothes. Yeah. So all of a sudden, if you have issues with like your um, luggage is overweight, you don't have to open it up and have that embarrassing case of just like shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's all compartmentalized. They have a store in Sydney. I got th these in LA, but they're just high quality and they've got like heaps of different travel products. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing, now this is a, is a very niche product, but it is something that has made my year. This is what it is, Jake. It's a big old bag. It's a big old bag and inside, is what's known as the Easy Rig. So I've been using this on all of my right. shoots. You can pull it out that way. Yeah. This is like a vest, right? So this one here is perfect for like cameras up until I think it's about 15 kilos or something like that. They've got different models. Uh, this is the price here. They range a fair bit. If you're a filmmaker that's doing handheld heavy work there you go so this sort of goes down like that so as you can see and what happens is this cable comes down and holds the entire weight i'll show you some photos yeah, cool. of me uh wearing it 
that takes all the weight of the camera. Mm -hmm. So then you don't have to worry about back pain or things yeah, like that. Yeah. It's got like cool compartments. This is definitely not like a toy or a, a gift for for the average for the average person. person. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be for anyone who's like making films or getting, I'd say like cameras like like the C200, any of like the cinema cameras, DSLR, I think it's probably overkill, but it's not a stabilizer. It just takes all the weight uh, off when you're filming. So that is one of my favorite things of 2017. Yeah, cool. And that's that's it. What was your favorite gift? Um, what do you think out of out of the five? The Barefoot Investor book is is something that, that probably jumps out to me yeah. because I'm um, I'm pretty bad with money, so you know. And most people are, and they and don't it, talk it, about a it. lot of it comes down to you know you, there's there's so many um, you know suggestions of how to go about things, but if you if you buy into a system, then you know it, it makes it obviously much easier. So. Um, the thing with a system is you want it to be able to work and for you not to have to think about it. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is great. Every yeah. single month when Bree and I get paid and money gets split into all the different bits and when it's gone, it's gone. We used to have credit cards and would have huge credit card limits and we'd just buy stuff on it and then would pay it off but then we'd keep buying it. So you'd sort of, you'd never, yeah. you're a bit disconnected with your money. Mm -hmm. Whereas this feels great because, because of this we're able to get financial financial freedom because we're able mm -hmm. to pay off our cards and actually for the first time in like forever being able to save you know start working towards saving a bunch of money for a trip that we're going on but I just love the practical nature of it I like that it's Australian specific be wary of like US specific financial books because the way that the system works in Australia is very different to that of the US so things like credit scores are actually works in some cases the opposite in Australia as it does to the US. For instance, in the US, it pays to have a lot of credit cards open for your mm -hmm. credit history. Whereas in Australia, uh, the more credit cards, the sort of worse you're yeah, off, yeah, basically. Sure. So there you go. That's our gifts for 2017. Hope you have a great Christmas. Uh, I'm Josh, this is Jake. Stay Please safe. Stay safe, have a fantastic day, have a great New Year's. And uh, remember to just subscribe, tell us what you think of this video and what are your uh, top gifts for 2017. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great one. See bye you bye. guys. Love you. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, good.